God, he broke the van. <laughs> Fancy steering wheel. Or through the connector for our turn signals. So we are at a campground. I have no tools. We gotta figure something out. Rig this up just so we get signals back, but put the key on. Signals, obviously broken connection. Nothing. Click it on. Working. Nope. Figure out a way to rig something up. It's Daddy's van. I think she should fix it. Broken. You're the one that wanted the steering wheel that's too big and rubbed the wire. I fucking love that steering wheel. So it's like anything about the van. That's your quick little recap of the Torque Fest weekend. I had a blast, hung out with some friends we haven't seen in a while, which is typically the only reason we go. Got a little bit of footage of some of the car show. If you've never been, highly recommend it. Please make your way out there. John Wells puts on an awesome show. It's always a good time. It's your kind of relatively traditional hot rod thing, pre-64. Obviously, we took the van out there to camp in, and most of the footage we have is from the campground because that's where we spend most of our time. Put a couple of the little mini bike segments in this video. I'm doing a separate video just on some of the races because they do a full on mini bike scenario out there. They do a Tough Mudder class, which is the aggressive track. They do some drag racing, which I got a bunch of, and some of the circle track stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I personally, we got a mini bike sitting on the side of the house with a little Predator six and a half motor, which works great. Brakes don't work, which you don't really need for the racing side. And typically when I ride it, I'm a little too tipsy and bike wants to just fall over. Who would have thunk it? Either fall over or pop wheelies and flip backwards. 
So we purposely, well I purposely, chose not to bring that one this weekend. And it's got a little chopper pipe with some Evo stuff on it. It was a friend of a friend, oh it was a friend's bike first that gave it to us. We got it going, ripped it around for a little bit and then realized that I don't like hurting myself on a regular basis. So I did not bring that one. The van on the other hand, was a trooper. On the ride out there, I did not realize how windy it was until I looked at the gas gauge when we got back. Uh, the fuel mileage, I almost just shy of doubled it coming back. Super windy, rainy, crappy weather on the way out there. Got there, got everything set up, and then Friday night was a wash. And by that, I mean everybody was still up and partying and having a good time. Rain's not going to stop that. However, I was up super early on Friday and I fell asleep early, which is pretty par for the course if you know me or hung out at events with me that first night. I went a little hard, fell asleep. It happens. But recovered and then Saturday, it was a pretty good time. Got to hang out with a bunch of people we haven't seen in a while, which is the most important part of all of this, right? It's not about the bikes or the cars or anything else. It's about the people you meet along the way. So that was a blast. And like I said, man made it there and back. No issues whatsoever, with the exception of the turn signal switch. I showed a brief little clip when that broke in this video, so earlier on in the video, if you missed it, all I did was uh, when we swapped that blue steering wheel over, I didn't realize that the base of the steering wheel, since it's a car instead of a truck, it's a smaller diameter on the steering wheel, it was rubbing on one of the connectors. Well, it rubbed all the way through, wire broke, lost turn signals. Luckily, we had friends there. I found a buddy had some Gorilla tape taped the terminal back in, it's a temporary fix, taped the terminal back in, got home with working turn signals, which is awesome. Thank you, Dritt and Kayla, for the assistance on that one. But other than that, if you haven't been, strongly recommend it. You'll want to go back. I think that was probably seven, eight years of going, and I've done it in various forms. I've ridden choppers out there, I've taken the truck out there, I've taken, I don't know, a little bit of everything. It's a lot of walking if you're in the campsites because it is pretty good uphill. Unfortunately, I usually do a flat track, dirt circle track. I know a, pun a bunch of people, old Harley stuff, vintage stuff, mini bike stuff, car stuff. All of the fun stuff they usually do was canceled this year because of the rain and can't control the weather, right? You book the event, set it on the schedule, plan everything, promote it. Can't control what's going to happen in the Midwest and here in May, especially this early in May, it is a crapshoot every single year. I've been to these events when it's like 75, 80, 90 degrees. I've been to these same events when it's 40 degrees. You never know what you're gonna get. It's a Midwest luxury, but that's part of the fun. So now we're back from that one. We got a couple weeks off before we take off on another road trip. So XLCH is coming down the pipeline. Got a good amount of stuff to get done on the truck. Uh, the trans is squealing a little bit like she's not happy still runs and drives fine so we're going to push that until it blows up motor wise sounds good everything else is good but thoroughly impressed with the van on that trip it's the smoothest it's ever run so good things happening slowly but surely garage is destroyed once again for the scramble to get ready for the show but now we're back a couple weeks we'll be back in the garage wrenching on stuff getting things figured out in terms of the XLCH, we are down to carburetor, fluids, and throttle cable. That should all go pretty quick. Anybody that's been following with that build, when you have ideas or suggestions or experience that you can help me out, shoot it my way. I, I don't take offense at all whatsoever. Good comments, bad comments, positives, negatives, I'll take them all because I'm still learning. I know a good amount about all these things. I know what I've done in the past that's worked and hasn't worked but I'm all for the feedback and the criticism and the suggestions to do things better. So thanks for watching. We will catch you guys on the next one. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna see more of the mini bike stuff, brace yourself. There's gonna be a good amount of that. We'll probably just do some time-lapse stuff because a bunch of mini bike noise is pretty repetitive. So we'll do some tunes over that one. Highlight some of the buddies that were out there racing since I was too concerned about all the stuff I have to get done to hurt myself. We will catch you guys on the next one.